$20 at an estate sale. I took an offer of $479 in about 10 months. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Are you guys ready to talk about some Bolo items? Items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. In this video, I am going to share with you Bolos from Toy Attic. This is Jody's YouTube channel. She is fantastic, and it is a reseller channel, but she talks a lot about toys and items that are nostalgic, and just you are going to learn so much about just really getting detailed about different toys. So this is more than a reseller channel. She will talk to you about her what solds. She's a big money bolo finder specializing in toys. So here is her eBay store, and you can go and check that out. I will link it down below. If you click on the heart, you can sell, save her as a seller. When she posts new items, you'll get notifications. If she has a sale, you will also get notifications. So one thing that she says is, I like to source in places that people would not necessarily think to buy things to resell, like antique malls, collector shows, and the first day of an estate sale. I don't mind paying up some if I can make a good profit. And there is usually something laying around that the seller doesn't know or care about. That is good money. For instance, I recently bought a Tammy doll with clothes and accessories in the case. They wanted 65 and I walked away, but couldn't stop thinking about it. So I went back and offered 55. We settled on 60 and after listing everything individually, I had almost a thousand dollars worth of listings. I will take offers, but I am pretty happy with that outcome. Wow. That is fantastic. So $60 and she thinks she'll sell it for around a thousand if she gets her full asking price, but she is willing to take offers on those items. So I guess what she's telling us is that it's okay to pay up if you know the value of your item. Search comps, look at sell-through rates. If it has all that, then pick it up. All right, so let's start with this first item. Uh, this one... Here we go. Sorry. She said, I picked up this comb in a big Costco sized snack jar full of dolls and people combs for $5. I probably have a quarter in it. Vintage combs and brushes can do really well sometimes. This one sat around for a long time because I made a mistake in the title. I took an offer for $13.50. So um, it was in a lot of items, so her cost of goods was probably very small. I don't know what her what her error was, but she said she made a mistake in the title. Can anybody see an error? Looks good to me. Vintage Estee Lauder detangling white comb. Is that how you spell Estee Lauder? Estee Lauder. Hmm. I don't know. But anyway, I like that one because it's different and it's something that we pass by. Now, of course, I picked this one. I'm going through her solds and I'm like, I recognize that. I sold this on my whatnot. And it's a little Flintstone choker necklace pendant. She picked this up for $5 and sold it for $17.50 plus shipping. So is this a big money bolo? No, but she knew that she could buy it and flip it for a profit. She's helping out one of her friends and she's making money. So. Thank you so much, Jody, for coming over to my whatnot. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. You guys, if you want to check out my whatnot, um, there is a link down below. You can get $15 to shop if you join with my referral link. I would love to see you guys at a show. And so many of you have come over and supported the channel and um, buying things for yourself and to resell. And I just appreciate all of you so much. So Jody wrote, I picked this Fred Flintstone necklace up in a whatnot auction from my Good friend, Courtney. I paid $5 and sold him for $17.50 plus shipping. So there you have it. And she flipped that pretty quick. So uh, I think I had three others that people bought also. There was two Flintstone guys. And then I think the other was like Daffy Duck or something. All right. So this one is a Hot Point Edison Range Cookbook. Recipes, Stove, instructions book from 1922 and it is vintage 
look how cool this is. So vintage recipe books can be big money or they can be bread and butter. This one is a nice bread and butter, but just look at the cool picture. And it's from 1922. I like to pick up these little pamphlets. Sometimes they aren't worth much, but sometimes they do well. They usually take a while to sell, but this one sold in about two weeks for $22.50. Yeah, ephemera, it can be long tail, but sometimes it's really worth the wait. Here's another one that I really liked, and she sold two of them. It is Canton Grill Portland, Oregon Chinese Restaurant. So it's a 50th anniversary pin for a Chinese restaurant. How many of you would have just looked at this and walked right by it? I probably would have. She said, I like to pick up these little, uh, oh, whoops, wrong one, sorry. I actually got this pin back button while eating at this restaurant, the Canton Grill in 1994. It was free. I kept it in my jewelry box all these years and finally decided to part with it. I actually had two of the same one and sold them both. $23.50 plus shipping. Now that is cool. These right here, you guys have heard me talk about the Fisher Price Loving Family. I love selling these dolls. These are from 1995. It's the boy and the girl. She does what I do. If individually they're not selling for as much, I will pair them up. And a lot of times you can get more for your um, more for your listing if they're paired. These little guys came from an estate sale of a collector friend. I bought about 10 baggies of dollhouse people for $1.50 each. This sold for $25 plus shipping. Charleston Chew. I grabbed this one because it is just the candy box from 1964. And I do have videos talking about chewing gum and candy discontinued for like display only. You obviously don't eat it because it's old, ancient. I mean, like... Some of it is close to 100 years old in the videos that I've done, but they can be a big money bolo. This one, she said, this box was purchased from an estate sale of a family who owned a little grocery store in the 40s through the 80s. I paid $3 for this one. It took several months to sell. I bought some great advertising merchandise, this that sold much quicker. Um, she didn't say what it actually sold for, but uh, she, it looks like it is marked through. So she did take a best offer plus shipping. This is a little belt and it goes to Ideal Tammy Doll. It's a black belt for a sheath dress fashion accessory. This little belt came in a big lot of Tammy Doll clothes and the doll that I purchased at a Christmas collectible show. I have about a dollar in it and took a 10% offer in about two weeks. So she took $3 off of the asking price and the buyer paid shipping. Vintage night. 1950s Winstall chocolate candy box, copper metallic rose, rare. This candy box was a shot in the dark. It was $3 at an estate sale. I couldn't find any comps for it. When I went home and researched it, I couldn't even find record of the company. I've had good luck with the candy boxes lately though. So I guessed at the price and sold it for 25 offer in a few days. It's a vintage candy box. Early 1900s photo of Western Union office, interior Pocatello, Idaho, five by seven. So old photos, do they sell? Yes, yes. And the better the keywords, the better chance of selling. Now for her, she was lucky. All the information was right there on the back of the photo. She said, I was checking out and someone had left it on the counter after changing their mind about it. It was $3 and sold for $38.50 after a week or so. When I look at photographs, I look for things that are unusual or might have some si historical significance. This is a Continental Airlines Tropical Bounty Dawn the Beachcomber food and grog menu. So it is a menu from a airplane. How cool is that? She said, uh-oh, where is it? The menu was purchased at an antique mall for $3. It took a couple months to sell for $40. She said, I love selling old menus. This is the Magic Attic Neat Rosa Doll Fashion Outfit. Hard to find green floral clothes, 18-inch doll. She said, I paid 10 for each outfit and these sold in a day or two for full asking. I had a few others that sold quick as well. They are for American girl style dolls. And it looks like this one sold for 45 plus shipping. So an 18 inch doll. 
Here's another one, Magic Attic Meet Megan doll. And this one, same thing, $10 and sold for $45. And you can see right here, this is what it has on it. This hat, Ebbets Field Flannels times Billy Reed, new Louisiana Fleur de Lis hat cap adjustable. <laughs> that was a mouthful. She said, let's see. It was in the corner of a guy's booth. I, oh wait, hold on. I bought the hat, well, eight of them at an estate sale for $2 each. I don't, I didn't know what it was for, but Ebert's field flannels always do well for me. I've sold six of the eight so far for 35 to 45 each. This is a Madam Alexander Wendy Ann Cos Composition Doll 18 inch human hair wig. She said, I picked up this Madam Alexander composition doll at a collector's show for $2. It was in the corner of a guy's booth. I had her listed as the wrong doll and someone sent me a message letting me know what she really was. She sold in only a few days. And it looks like she sold for $35 plus shipping. This next item is this vintage Disney Pocahontas 18 inch doll. Bead so pretty 1995 super size Barbie complete. It took only about a month for her to sell. She paid $10 at an estate sh at an estate sale. She is the exact same body as the super size Barbie from the 70s. So I always add that in the title when I find these. They must have been really popular because I have probably bought and sold 10 of these. This is the first one I've had in the box. I typically sell them for $20 without the box. And it looks like it sold for $40 plus shipping. So she's a bigger 18 inch doll. This one here is a vintage 1950s Mickey Mouse Fisher Price puddle jumper pull toy. And let's see, she got this. The Mickey is from an estate sale clean out where I got Donald paid a dollar and took about a year to sell for $33 plus shipping. So got some condition issues, but again, somebody is looking for it. One of these items that you just have to be patient and make a little money. Vintage full circle Carol Evans pennies infant pageant dress, pink ruffles, 12 months. The pink frilly dress is thanks to you. Historically, this brand gets 35 tops, but decided to go for 50. I sold it in just a few minutes. I bought it at a garage sale and a big box of doll clothes for $10. That is awesome. Yeah. See how she has it in a full circle. That is a great thing to put in your title and to spread it out and show it just like she did. That's going to help you sell your item. Strawberry Shortcake Lime Chiffon Rag Doll, 14-inch Vintage Kenner, 1984. $12 at a collector's show. She sold for $47.50 in a week or two. The and she is a cutie. So she's a little rag doll. Looks to be in really good condition as well. I have her there twice. Madam Alexander, Alex 16 inch fashion doll, VIP Paris 2002. And this one says the Madam Alexander doll was from a doll collector estate sale. I paid 10 for her and she sold for 45. She had some damage. Otherwise I probably could have gotten 60. Somehow I've got my stuff all mixed up. Oh, no, I see where I'm at. All right. This is the Donald Duck, which was kind of like the Mickey Mouse. The Donald Doc Duck is a 30s Fisher Price pull toy. The condition was very poor. I got all of these toys from an estate clean out. So I have about a dollar in him. He sold for 45. So that's a fantastic profit. Dryzen chocolate old Dutch tiles, Delft blue, 1.5 porcelain mini tiles. So these are really, really cool mini tiles. Came with individually in boxes of chocolates from the 50s. I picked up the whole box for $4. And after several months, they sold for $35. Would you have picked it up or walked past it? Came in a chocolate box, huh? Build-A-Bear White Polar Plush Winter Cubscription Blanket Scarf and Mug. And it looks like maybe this is a subscription box. I don't know. Never heard of that. Let's see what she has to say. I was thinking, I wonder if Courtney or Rebel would pick this one up. 
the Build-A-Bear Cub subscription from a garage sale. I got a bundle deal on four sets and paid about eleven twenty-five each. Looks like it sold for forty-eight dollars and fifty cents plus shipping. I would have tried to talk them down to five. No, I don't know. I probably would have looked it up, but uh, eleven twenty-five is pretty steep for me. I'm pretty cheap. Uh, the Rebel reseller, if you're watching, would you have picked this up or walked past it at $11.25? You guys, if you're not following the Rebel reseller, definitely check it out. She specializes in plush and she also has an amazing YouTube channel. This is a dandy collector's choice white tiger jungle boogie red hoodie large plush. And it says this tiger was purchased at the Goodwill the same time as the Squishmallow. It was $5.99 and sold for full asking the same day, $45. I don't know if she's asking if we would have picked this up or the one before this. So I guess both of them. Rebel, would you have picked this up? I probably, I would have looked twice at this one because it is a white tiger. This one here is Chatty Cathy Doll 2001 Mattel, the classic collection, blue eyes and dress. This was $10 at a doll collector's estate sale. She sold for full asking price in a month of $40 plus shipping. Hey, Bolo Buddies. This is Jody from Toy Addict. And this is my Bolo. This is Richie. Richie was made by the Mego Toy Corporation in the 70s. And he's basically an action figure of your creepy uncle. <laughs> he's got flocked hair and sideburns. And he has a bunch of really interesting outfits. Like this one that's called Fantastic Fringe. That's a fringe vest. I also found two other outfits of his. I found Wild and Wooly and Snow King. All the outfits have interesting titles. He has 12 outfits to choose from. I have a video over on my channel that shows you all of his outfits and talks about the doll and a little bit of what to look for for Richie so you can find him when you're out there searching. I bought these for $10 each and I sold the first two for $65 each and this one is listed for the same price. Go to my channel and check that out if you get a chance. Thanks for watching guys and thank you Courtney. Bye. The next item is this Tiffany Taylor 18-inch fashion doll AA two-tone hair with swimsuit, ideal 1974. And she got this doll at a show for $5 and sold it for $55 plus shipping. This is a 1953 Glad toy Dennis the Menace rubber doll. Oh my goodness, how cool is that? This one also came from the doll show. She paid $5 for it and he sold for a best offer of $50 plus shipping. This item right here is a Squishmallow. It's a Halloween Day of the Dead from 2021. She said, I picked this Squishmallow up at the Good Good, the Good Good, the Goodwill for $9.99 and sold in two days for $53 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage 1960s Little Kittle open house dollhouse complete with furniture and box it was twenty dollars at an estate sale and it sold for full it was full of furniture that she listed separately so it looks like she put a little bit of furniture here and then sold other furniture separately so really great deal sold it for seventy dollars plus shipping vintage stickers sandaline Maxi activity sheet, baking bread, cats, 1984, super rare. Got this from the same sale as the sticker books. I probably have 10 cents into this. It sold for full asking price in a few months for $130 plus shipping. Vintage stickers, guys. Look at the bottom right there. That's what you're looking for. This is a unique vintage and rainbow bright royal blue satin bomber jacket, size small. She said the rainbow bright jacket was a retail arbitrage item. I paid 50 and took an offer of 150. And it looks like she has another one left. If anybody's interested, her store is linked down below. Giant sticker book album, 74 page, 80s, Sniff, Holiday, Sanrio, Star Wars, Snoopy. Wow. And I think she did a video on her channel. I think this was the sticker book. So you guys can go check that out. This sticker book was from an amazing estate sale that was 
a fill a bag. I got several, maybe 10. I paid about five each and they each have sold for 125 to 225. I have a full video. I have full videos of each of the ones I've sold. I thought she did. So yeah, you can check out her channel as she does like a flip through. Really awesome. Fun to watch. 1968 truly scrumptious Barbie chitty chitty bang bang Mattel doll in box amazing this truly scrumptious Barbie was a $20 at an estate sale I took an offer of 479 in about 10 months hey bolo buddies and toy addicts this is Jody from toy addict and this is my bolo this is a Barbie from 1969 I found her at an estate sale for $20 she was basically new in her box. The box is open, but she looks completely unplayed with inside. She is one of the first Barbies that they made out of an actual person. And she's from the movie Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and she is the character called Truly Scrumptious. I had her listed for $600, and um, I've had her listed for almost a year now, but someone came with an offer of $479 on a day where I hadn't sold very much in the last few days. So I went ahead and said, sure, I'll take $479 for something I paid $20 for. So keep your eye out for Barbies. Barbie is definitely a bolo. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Courtney. And I'll see you next time. Bye. She is a character in the movie Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. What do you guys think? This is Jody Toy Addict. Go subscribe to her. Let's get her to 5,000 subscribers. She is so close. She puts tons of work into this channel and you guys are definitely gonna learn from her. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know how you found the channel. And if you go and subscribe to Jody, go to her most recent video and put Bolo Buddies sent me subscribe. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and a video down below. And thanks for watching.